Sometimes people just ask me again to make sure they heard me correctly. Like, wait, you're not a citizen, even though you've lived here since you were 10 months old. And I'm like, no. And they're like, oh, well, you can just take a test and you can become a citizen. And I'm like, oh, that's not how it works. <laughs> that's something the majority of Americans would be surprised by. They would assume that someone who's been raised and educated here would have some sort of a clear path to citizenship. But that just isn't the case. Currently, there are more than 200,000 young immigrants living legally in the U.S. that will find themselves in legal limbo when they turn 21. Documented dreamers are immigrants who have grown up in the U.S. as dependents of long-term visa holders without a clear path to citizenship. When dreamers age out of their status as dependents at the age of 21, they often face the threat of self-deportation, also known as family separation. This is the first day when we arrived here in USA. All of our family members were looks very tired, and the two youngest is still sleeping. I was looking much better then. <laughs> Good morning, Plainsmen and staff. It's Hillary Yoon back with your morning announcements. But before we get started, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. It was 2004, August, when my family immigrated here, and I was born October 2003, so I was like 10 months old and I've been here ever since. If you ask me what does Korea look like, I couldn't tell you, other than pictures. In 2004, the Yoon family migrated from Korea to the United States. Byung Yoon originally arrived on a student visa and after some time acquired an E2 visa, which allowed him to enter and work in the United States based on an investment in a U.S. business. The visa also allows his wife and three children to live in this country. The visa has to be renewed every two years and can be renewed indefinitely. From the beginning, I knew that uh, they have to live at, at the age of 21, but I, I thought if they study ha very hard, then I thought that they can get a, a job easily. And then the company is supposed to sponsor them for the green card. So I did not think that it is very hard for us at first. But American immigration policy is changing. Her brother, before he turned 21, he left this country to live in Korea because he's going to be aged out. So Hillary is going to have the same problem when she, she gets a 21. Hillary is currently 18 years old, a senior in high school, and must consider her path to ensure she does not age out of her legal status. Otherwise, she'll either have to choose between living in America illegally or returning to Korea. There's so many visas that allow no clear path. For example, my parents came here on E2 visa, which is a small business visa that doesn't have a pathway to citizenship. So someone can be here for 10, 15, 20, 30 years owning a business with a legal status, employing Americans, but still not able to turn that into American citizenship. Deet Patel is a documented dreamer and the founder of Improve the Dream an organization that raises awareness and advocates for young immigrants growing up in the United States. The organization also tries to enlist the help of government representatives to create change through legislation. Through Improve the Dreams survey of documented dreamers in our community, we found that the average age that documented dreamers came here was when they were just five years old. And the average person has been here for a minimum of 12 years. It really shows that we've been embedded in this country. This is our country, this is our home. All documented dreamers just want a chance to stay and contribute to the country. A typical path for someone in our situation is to apply for a student visa, which oftentimes gets denied because of something called non-immigrant intent. That's something that asks us to prove that we don't permanently intend to immigrate to the United States and we have to show ties to our home country. Our home country is the United States. I'm like applying to colleges now and I'm getting a lot of emails from colleges asking to send an English proficiency test and I'm just like so confused. Like I, I can only speak English so. Another hurdle to climb is that if documented dreamers are lucky enough to be approved for a student visa, although growing up in America, they are required to pay tuition as an international student. 
international student tuition tends to be higher than in-state and out-of-state tuition. So families are often faced with the decision of sending one child to school and finding alternate options for the other child. International tuition is like four times bigger than the in-state student. When my first child and second child, both of them have to go to a school, then we could not afford to support them financially, both of them. So my first son has to return to Korea. Yeah. Created during the Obama administration, programs like DACA, Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, provide help for some immigrants through way of work permits and protections against deportation. However, DACA's core focuses on immigrants who arrived illegally, so there's no protection for documented dreamers. A bill introduced in the Senate and House is trying to change this by providing a pathway to citizenship for documented dreamers who are under 21 and those who have already aged out of their legal status. America's Children Act would create an opportunity for children who have been raised and educated here to finally have an opportunity to become Americans. It would create a mechanism where someone who has been here for at least 10 years and graduated from an American university can apply for a green card. In essence, it creates a 15-year path to citizenship for children of long-term visa holders. And it's something that most people likely assume already exists. And unfortunately, right now, there's somewhere between five to 10,000 children of long-term visa holders who face that situation of having to leave. It will be very tough for her because she does not understand Korean culture and she does not speak Korean very well. So she will have a tough life. It's just hard to know the future. Um, yeah, and it's also difficult just talking about it every single night. Like, I want to talk about something else. <laughs> but we're always talking about how can I remain in the U.S.? Because I don't know if I can live anywhere else. 